Greetings, fellow time travelers and everyone still stuck on Earth. This is another LinuxCollections.com how-to video for your education, information, and entertainment. Let's get rolling. Today we're going to look at the Debian Live 10.0.0 desktops, all run from the LinuxCollections.com USB Complete Debian Collection. That's right. 24 DVDs on one USB drive. So there are eight total desktops, and we're going to start in order with Cinnamon. As you can see, Cinnamon is derived from GNOME 3, and it follows common desktop metaphors. So it has the start menu approach, and then there's some taskbar items we'll look at. This is the live user and the wired network connection. That's it for Cinnamon. Next up is Live Gnome. This is Gnome 3.3, and you can see your favorites on the left-hand side. We can look at the applications and kind of scroll through those a little quickly. You can also then go to the top and see your status items, volume, connections, and then the uh, power options. So that is going to be it for Gnome 3.3. So we'll restart, and we'll be jumping right into Live KDE. KDE is the Plasma 5.14. You can see you've got a start menu but this is the KDE menuing system and gives you favorite applications computer that kind of thing we're going to walk through some of the various subcategories in the applications just to give you a scope of what is available in these live distributions you've got multimedia you've got office LibreOffice, a bunch of different utilities various things now kde settings are typically different than gnome settings because they both have a long history but this shows you what's available on these live distributions a lot of generalized uh, utilities and capabilities so in addition to the applications menu that has you as you can see a wide depth of options there's also the computer section and the history and then the leave or the way to log out. On the taskbar we've got a device notifier, network options, volume, audio controls. Uh, that's going to wrap it up for KDE. Next up is LXDE. This is a lightweight X11 desktop environment and as you can see it's got many of the same options as the KDE menu. They are all quick and snappy because of the LXDE approach to the desktop. Very kind of bare bones bones but totally functional and it does come down to your preference does have the same kind of taskbar and options at the bottom in terms of network manager audio and what have you next up is LXQT and as you can see this merges the LXDE code with the QT widgets so you have a similar tight and lightweight desktop but has a different look entirely because it's based on the QT widgets. These are user interface components and icons and tools to enhance the user interface. And so you can see it's a very fast and snappy environment also, but it actually has a quite a different look than the LXDE. But it's very similar, and you can see some notifications, drives, network volume options. So next is Mate, and this is a fork of the GNOME 2.0. If you notice and go back and look at the GNOME 3, you'll see it looks a lot different. Well, GNOME 2.0 had evolved for many years, and there's a lot of people that like it. So this was basically started with an individual developer. It has grown in acceptance. And so here's what the GNOME 2.0 derivative Mate looks like. And you can see again you have your menuing, your options all along the top and on the right hand side audio volume, networking options, calendar, and then we can uh, shut down and restart. We're getting close to the end. The standard as they call it is really just a shell prompt. This is for the people that know exactly what they're doing and exactly how to do it and don't care about all that fluff that a graphical user interface provides. And so you drop into the shell. You simply start at the bash prompt. It's pretty straightforward if you know what you're looking for and you know what to do. Then that's the live version for you. Finally, we have our last live version, which is the XFCE. And this has a history that's interesting, too. It started with XForms, and now it is kind of on its own. It's been rewritten a few times over the years. And you can see it's got the top bar and menuing that run off of that. It also has a bottom dock 
similar to the Mac OS approach. Top right hand gives you some networking and volume and all that good stuff. So that's going to wrap up our look at the eight live desktop environments provided by the live Debian 10.0.0. All eight of these live Debian releases have been run from the single USB flash drive what we call the LinuxCollections.com Debian USB Complete Collection. It's catalog number 51007. Note that this also includes all 16 DVD ISOs of the complete install set for the AMD 64 64-bit Debian 10.0.0. Thanks for joining us on this journey. This is LinuxCollections.com signing off. <laughs>